Today I'm doing the 5 minute makeup challenge. I've seen this tag around uh, many times and I decided to challenge myself to do it because I take more than 5 minutes to do my whole face. Now I've done so, it's only 5 minutes uh, for all of this. What would I do differently? I think that so far, I think I did a little bit better. I think that my eyeliner is not symmetrical. It's a little bit lopsided. Um, I wasn't looking at the mirror properly that time. And then uh, my coverage is okay. I don't like to use that much concealer nowadays. I like to keep it simple. I like to let my skin breathe. If I had a little bit more time, I would put on a uh, lip gloss on top. I should have put this one or maybe this one. Either these two colors. Well, let me just go through the products that I've used. If you see the clip just now, <laughs> I think I'm running low of this uh, foundation because it spurt out a little bit <laughs> um, in, the met in a moment of haste. So this is the um, Stay Matte Foundation from Rimmel. The reason why I've used this one instead of my other foundation like the BB Cream or the other uh, Rimmel foundation is because um, I know this one works and I know that you don't really have to play around too much with it. This foundation blends very easily. Um, the coverage is quite good. It's medium to full. So... I really like it. You don't need to hassle too much with this foundation. That's the reason why I like it very much and I've used this in this challenge because I know that I don't need to fuss with it. I don't need to worry about it. It blends very easily. It is a medium to full coverage. If I do have any blemishes, I can double up on the uh, foundation on that spot and I can easily blend it out and it would look very natural. I like this foundation because it gives kind of a dewy matte finish. Um, it's dewy where, you know, like for example, like um, under the eyes, a little bit right here. So it's a little bit more dewy, um, but it's matte around my T-zone. The next step is my um, Inovi Undercover Under Eye Dark Circle Corrector. I love this dark circle corrector very much. Um, the one from Benefit, the Erased Paste, um, I have to blend it out really well with a brush usually. But this one, I can just use my fingers in order to apply it. So that's very, very good. Um, really minimizes the amount of time that I apply it. And um, it does cover up really well. For my lopsided eyeliner, I used the um, Color Combos um, girl eyeliner in number one which is black this is not the best eyeliner because it does move especially on your waterline the pencil is not great um it is quite thick so <laughs> as you can see i drew a thicker line here compared to this one right here this is quite cheap um i think it's going for 19.90 from sasa this is not as black as I want it to be. Um, I like my feline eyeliner from MAC more uh, because it's very, very dark. For my eyeshadow, I decided to use this one from Stella. And this is the All Over Shimmer. I'm going to try to swatch it if I can for you. There's not much left. Um, I'll give you some alternatives that you can use. You can use something similar, it's not going to be an exact dupe of that all over shimmer. I don't know whether you can still find it at the Stila counter um, in Sephora. But you can use like um, this one. This one right here is all that glitters. This one right here is all that glitters. This one is the um, Stila all over shimmer. This one is um, Nude Beach. But this is more of a highlighter kind of colour, so be a little bit careful with this colour. And then from the uh, Naked palette, you can use Sin. You can place it right here. So I would go for this one, this is Sin and all that glitters because it looks a little bit more natural. 
you want a color that looks quite natural but at the same time a little bit glittery okay so I would choose this one and this one this one is a little bit too light for me it's a subtle kind of shimmer um, it's not as shimmery uh, but it's also very very pretty um, you can still see the color when you open your eyes you can still see the color too if I had some time I would take this color this shimmer and I'll put it on my cheeks right here right here and probably a little bit on the bridge of my nose right here um, that will give a subtle highlight to the face for my mascara I was using the prestige my blackest lashes this is in blackest black for my blush, I was using the Clear Smooth Minerals Healthy Natural Luminous Blush and this one is from uh, Maybelline in Soft Mauve. I like this one because it's uh, kind of gives you a natural kind of glow. It's a mauve color but it's very nice. Um, this is my fail safe um, blusher. I like it very much. Now my makeup is a little bit, um, a little bit glowy and um, quite subtle in a way. I like to use a bright lipstick, which is this one. Um, this is from Rimmel. Uh, this is from the Color Show Off lipstick line. This one is in Love Me. I really like this color. It's kind of like a vibrant pink, like a, almost a fuchsia color. If I had the time, I would have placed this uh, lip gloss on it. This is from Stay Glossy from Rimmel as well. I like this Stay Glossy lip gloss because it's not sticky. Um, it's very, very subtle. If you haven't seen my vlogs, uh, please stay tuned for the latest for the last two days. The reason why I wasn't able to edit the last two days vlog was because um, yesterday I was downloading the latest OS um, for Mac and then um, I was also up upgrading my iMovie so that's the reason why I wasn't able to edit anything. That's it for now. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!